Hey everyone, I am Dana White, the president of the UFC. Many of you know who I am, what I do, and that I am friends with the president. I spoke at this convention four years ago, and I'm back because I believe we need President Trump's leadership now more than ever. Before the pandemic, President Trump built the greatest economy in our nation's history and created opportunities for all Americans like no one before him. Financial markets hit all-time highs, unemployment was at an all-time low, and we weren't facing the lawless destruction that now is occurring in a few of our great cities. It blows my mind how quickly some of the leadership in this country has forgotten the critical role first responders play in our society. Police departments and other law enforcement, even some fire departments, have faced opposition from many in this country. But they are always the people who are asked to step up when things are at their worst and put themselves at risk. That has certainly been the case during this ongoing pandemic. Come on, America, defunding these vital positions is not the answer. The first responders have always taken care of us. And now, more than ever, we need to take care of them. Now, let's talk about COVID. And let's be very honest about it. No one person and no one place could have anticipated the challenges that COVID would bring. But President Trump has faced all these obstacles head on. He immediately put protective measures in place, and he reached out to the best and the brightest leading American businesses across all industries to discuss what he and his administration could do to get the economy back up and running safely. Let me give you more detail. In early April, President Trump organized a task force of business leaders across the country, and I was fortunate enough to serve on that task force. Firsthand, I had the opportunity to witness how hardworking and determined President Trump was to solve unprecedented problems our country was facing. I personally observed his ability to listen and understand the issues impacting Americans of all backgrounds. It was clear. His highest priority was always the health and safety of everyone in our country. Not just Republicans, not just supporters, but every single American. President Trump recognized that one of the small ways to instill a sense of normalcy in people's lives was to bring back entertainment options. The president went above and beyond to help all sports leagues involved. Figure out a way to overcome the challenges of staging live professional sporting events in the middle of a pandemic. And you know what? We did it. The UFC was the first to do it, and we are continuing to do it. Now, other sports have joined us, and some of the lessons learned are being used to help reopen other types of businesses and schools. Make no mistake about it. We still have a long way to go. And that is why we need a leader with President Trump's unique attributes at this critical time. I have said it before, and I will say it again. He is one of the most loyal human beings I have ever met. The man has unstoppable energy. No one, and I mean no one, is going to outwork this guy. But most importantly, he truly loves and believes in our country. He believes in the people of this country. America is a place everyone wants a solid job, they want to take care of their family. They want to support their community, assist the less fortunate, and enjoy the freedom this country has provided to all of us. While we have certainly experienced a ton of negativity in 2020, President Trump's mindset is to work tirelessly to find solutions to problems and help restore America. He did it once, and I'm telling you right now, he will do it again. And remember, President Trump may be the only president in modern times who has actually done everything he said he would do during his campaign. There's this quote that I love from Ronald Reagan, where he said, there isn't any problem we can't solve if government will give us the facts, tell us what needs to be done, then get out of the way and let us have at it. And what that means to me is, as Americans, we work hard to overcome adversity and we face the tough times head on, irrespective of your gender, race, religion, or sexual orientation. What unites us as a nation is freedom, equality, and opportunity. That's what it means to be an American. Ladies and gentlemen, let's reelect President Trump 
Let's figure out what the problems are and continue to find solutions to those problems. Then let's get to work. I'd like to close with this. While it's critically important to reelect President Trump, this pandemic has also taught us to be very, very careful who you select as your next governor, senator, congressperson, and mayor. It is so important to vote. And don't think that your vote doesn't matter, because to be honest with you, it has never mattered more than it does right now. Thank you, and have a great evening, America.